Developing today, a public hearing was held this morning to discuss redistricting in southern Arizona. Arizona is one of a few states which removed the power to draw congressional and state legislative districts from the legislator and re reassigning this task to the Independent Redistricting Commission. News 4 Tucson Shelley Jackson breaks it all down. The maps the Independent Redistricting Commission is working on will impact every Arizonan for the next decade, and many Tucsonans didn't pass up the chance to have their say in the matter. I believe in competitive districts. I think that they're good for democracy and that they get voters engaged in the political process. Redistricting happens every 10 years, dividing Arizona into nine congressional and 30 legislative districts. The proposed map drawing most of the comments today LD-17. It combines Saddlebrook, Saddlebrook Ranch, Marana, Oral Valley, Tinka Verde Valley, and the Houghton Corridor into one legislative district. The county and the smaller surrounding towns need a check and a balance on the city of Tucson. LD-17 provides that. Finally, LD-17 gives Republicans in southern Arizona a voice. Uh, we strongly urge you to adopt map uh, 10.0. And in particular, legislative district 17 is strong. Most of the audience comments came out against the proposed map. The IRC must follow certain guidelines. Districts must be geographically compact and contiguous and respect communities of interest. This is unconstitutional. A political party is not a community of interest. LD 17 draft, adopted draft map 10.0 does not meet the compact and continuous requirement. You seem to have bent over backwards to accommodate the notion that Republicans are a community of interest that needs protection despite the fact that the constitutional amendment underlying this commission, commission was set up to end partisan gerrymandering. IRC Chair Erica Newberg is the only independent on the commission. She says it welcomes the feedback. Uh, no decisions are made. We're taking all of the feedback to heart. Uh, and, and we'll consider what the public is telling us. The IRC begins deliberations Monday and hopes to finish the process by December 22nd. In the newsroom, Shelley Jackson, News 4, Tucson.